Welcome back to just another dang how to channel. So this is part 3 of my how to develop an iOS app with a Django backend. So in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use Django REST framework to expose the APIs that we'll be using to call from our Swift application later on. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So I already have a server running here. Uh, we created a model last time and I just created um, four records in here. And I also want to show you that uh, the forge slash API is just a static API view right now. So what we're going to be doing is expose this as an API endpoint later. So let's get coding. So first is we want to install um, Django REST framework. So to do that, you simply go to ppnv install Django REST framework. And that should install Django framework for you. So I also want to start my server. Make sure it's running. So it's running. Cool. Uh, first is on the app that we created called API. I'm going to create a new file called serializer.py. This is kind of where the first step of the process is. So first we need to create a, we need to import the model that we created. And the model is called account. And then from here, uh, from the REST framework, we want to import the um, serializer. And then create a class here. Normally, you give it the same name as the model and then say serializer. And then serializer and model serializer. Accept a class of meta. Model is the account. And then fields would be the fields that we want to expose on the API. So we have name, um, category, description, wealth type, and balance. Cool. So that's all we need for the serializer. Next is we want to update the views. So this is the view that we seen earlier. We want to change all of that so I'm gonna just delete all of that and say import the models so we want the account that we created um, from the rest framework we want to import the view sets this is the one that we're gonna use and then again from the rest framework we want to import permissions so only authenticated users would be able to access this API and then we want to import the serializer that we just created. So that's account serializer. So we just need to create a class. And then normally it starts with the same model name. And then you say uh, view set. So view set is kind of powerful because it allows you to create all the crud, uh, get, put, patch, and delete operation views in just one view set. Uh, we're going to use the model view set. Um, query set by default you just say account objects all and then serializer class would be the serializer class we just created and then we need a permission class this accepts an array so permissions and I'm gonna select is authenticated so only authenticated users so trying to save immediately you get an error so this is because the URL no longer has that function index. So we need to update this with the right um, information to make that view uh, available. So we already have the views. Um, we need to import from Django OS framework the routers. So we say import 
uh, routers. So those views, depending on which view you're using, uh, the framework would handle it for you and create the necessary view. So we say router, routers, and then just say default. And then we register that router. Uh, this syntax is say R, then quotes, and then the name of that router. So we say account, and then we have the views already, and we want it to display that account view set. So pretty much that's it, and I'm gonna change this to include, and then say router, and then URLs. And then also we want another path here for the um, authentication. So we, we could say API auth and say include, and we just include the normal REST framework uh, URLs. Cool, almost there. So the server is running. The last bit is to add the application uh, REST framework on our installed apps. So go to the settings by on the main project and add REST framework. And it's save. Now if I go back to the browser and refresh this, I should get something cool. So this is the browsable API. Uh, I could click on here and I should be able to um, see all those data from that API. So if I copy and paste this, uh, in, remember we add up uh, some permissions. So if I go to Postman or curl or advanced REST client and try to access that URL, if I paste that now and do a send, I would get this error authentication credentials were not uh, provided. So when you're using a client, um, you add a header actually, and say accept and application JSON, and for authorization, change that to basic. And this would be the super user that I created for Django. So same user is the one you're gonna use for authentication here. When I hit send, I'm able to now see the response. How cool is that? Um, so if I go here and change that to one forward slash, I should only get one results back. So that's the outlander. Um, let me go to three. So this is talks and I, I'm gonna change this to put and change this to asset. Uh, I mean the payload. Let's go to raw. And I'm gonna change this to blah testing and hit send. Uh, unsupported meet your type in request so I need to go back to the header and say content type and then say application JSON hopefully this should work yep so that works I got 200 and if we go back here and go to same three I should see that updated data there. And then I could also delete from here. If I go to delete uh, and hit send, I should be able to delete this record. If I go back here, this record has been deleted, detail not found. And if I go to post and go back to body and hit send, method post is not allowed so that's because the endpoints incorrect so you don't do you could only do it on the main um, endpoint so if I hit send now I got a 201 
the record that's been created. If I go back to here and go back to account list, then that record is back there. Cool. So that's how I use the Django REST framework. Uh, on the next tutorial, we're going to start uh, covering the Swift UI side of things. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.